1848, a man named Phineas Gage was doing his job on the railroad using an iron rod to tap gunpowder into a blasting hole. But then the gunpowder ignited. The rod flew through the air and straight through his head. Ooh. Surprisingly, Phineas survived the incident and healed just after a few months. However, Phineas's friends, who once described him as responsible and well-liked, say he has turned irresponsible and rude. Despite his recovery, he died 12 years later from epilepsy. Many scientists were baffled by Phineas's brain damage and his change in personality, but no one ever knew how or why he changed the way he did. That is, until many, many years later, around 1994, a man named Damasio, along with his fellow neurologists, wanted to find out if any other area of Phineas's brain, other than the frontal lobe, was damaged. They received permission to exhume his skull and the pole, and then they replicated it and made a 3D virtual model of their own to study. Then, they mapped out all the possible entry and exit points the iron rod could have gone through. After that, they found five most likely paths and eventually narrowed it down to one. The rod had entered through his left eye socket and moved upwards through the head. Damasio et al. found that no other areas but the frontal lobe were damaged in Phineas's brain. The left hemisphere of the frontal lobe was more damaged than the right side, which caused damage to some of the tissues in that area, in particular the white matter. White matter refers to the brain and spinal cord tissues, which mainly consist of nerve fibers called axons. This rendered that part of his brain useless. And since the frontal lobe plays a role in personality, Phineas's behavior changed drastically. They also found that the bottom of the frontal lobe, called the ventromedial region, was heavily damaged. From this, the team finally concluded that the ventromedial region was responsible for controlling impulses. Damasio et al's study has both strengths and weaknesses. A strength was that they used modern technology in their research, making the study more reliable. Their results can also be applied in real-life situations. For example, if someone had similar damage, then they would understand the changes they go through. However, the basis of Damasio et al's study was from 150-year-old records, which could have been inaccurate. Also, it is virtually impossible to have exactly the same damage as Phineas Gage, so the findings aren't generalizable. So, that's the story of Phineas Gage. Thanks for listening!